Hi to everyone. Today we will be discussing a problem on diode current equation. Here is a question as for a germanium diode I0 that is reverse saturation current is given here. I0 is a 2 micro amperes and the applied voltage is also given voltage of 0 0.26 volts. And we need to calculate forward and reverse dynamic resistance at room temperature values. The germanium diode we need to consider as germanium diode as they have given germanium diode nextly the reverse saturation current is also given and applied voltage is also given and room temperature they have said we need to calculate at room temperature and we need to find the dynamic resistance of in both biasing that is forward and reverse bias now we have a the diode current equation as This the dynamic resistance is given as change in voltage to the change in current also can be written as like this by differentiating with respect to differentiating with respect to voltage we will be getting the dynamic resistance as ideal to factor Vt by I and now we need to find the i value in order to get the dynamic resistance and forward dynamic resistance is nothing but forward dynamic resistance and reverse dynamic resistance in order to find the forward dynamic resistance we need to take the current equation as i equal to i naught e power v by same as current equation we need to take here uh, sorry i forgot here we need to take 1 minus 1 here and coming to the reverse uh, saturation current and i mean reverse uh, dynamic resistance that is given as i equal to that is current in order to find the current i naught for reverse we are calculating so I naught e power minus we need to take here minus V by ideal to factor Vt minus 1 after finding I value we need to substitute forward and in forward dynamic resistance as ideal to factor Vt by I this value we need to substitute for finding the forward dynamic resistance that is i equal to i naught i naught is given that is uh, we will be finding as i equal to i naught value is how much we have 2 micro amperes nothing but 2 power 10 power minus 6 e power v is applied voltage how much we have 0 0.26 and ideal to factor for germanium is germanium is 1 into applied I mean thermal voltage we need to calculate see in order to calculate Vt that is thermal voltage we have thermal voltage as kT by Q K is the Boltzmann constant T is the absolute room temperature we will be adding 273 plus 27 here assuming here as 27 degrees plus 273 so we will be getting 300 here and after getting 300 by 11600 we will be getting the value that is thermal voltage value as 0 0.026 volts or 26 millivolts here and we need to take here the Vt value as 0 0.026 nextly minus 1 by calculating this value I equal to we will be getting as 65 milliamperes here now we need to substitute this i value in dynamic resistance i vt by i as 
ideal to factor Vt by I as ideal to factor for germanium is how much only 1 1 into 1 into 0 0.026 by 65 milli is nothing but we will be writing it as 10 power minus 3 so we have the forward dynamic resistance as r equal to rf equal to 0 0.384 ohms resistance will be measuring in ohms only this is for forward forward dynamic resistance now we will be going for reverse dynamic resistance reverse dynamic resistance is we will be considering here e power minus for the reverse dynamic resistance and this is given as i equal to 2 into 10 power minus 6 we, we are 10 to power minus 6 nothing but micro value here e power minus 0 0.26 is the applied voltage they have given and the germanium diode is given 1 into vt is nothing but 0 0.026 vt v kt by q that is minus 1 and nextly this current value is we will be getting as 2 micro amperes that is 2 into 10 power minus 6 amperes and this uh, current value this current value we need to substitute in reverse dynamic resistance as ideal to factor vt by i and this value we will be getting as ideal to factor for germanium is same 1 into vt is nothing but 0 0.026 only the change in current value that is due to the reverse reverse current we will be calculating here that is 2 into 10 power minus 6 this value we will be having as 12500 ohms this is the finally we are getting here that is the uh, forward dynamic resistance as 384.384 ohms and reverse dynamic resistance as 12500 ohms or 12.5 kilo ohms see here the reverse dynamic resistance is more and forward dynamic resistance is very less only 380 0.384 ohms this is we need to find but where is the change is seen in only current that is for forward we have 65 milliamps and for reverse we have 2 microamperes this is very small and this is very large current value we have that's about the finding of forward and reverse dynamic resistance of a germanium diode with the i naught value and applied voltage and in it is completely at room temperature that is vt equal to this value vt equal to 26 um, millivolts with this we have the for forward dynamic resistance as 0 0.384 ohms and reverse dynamic resistance as 12.5 kilo ohms and this is the forward current uh, we will be con just we will be considering here in order to calculate forward and reverse dynamic resistance here and this is the reverse uh, dynamic resistance current current values these two are as uh, resistance value is minimum current is maximum resistance value is maximum resistance value is maximum current is very minimum in terms of micro this is micro and this is milliamps micro is very smaller than milli with this we can conclude that minimum resistance